Hi, this is Sarah with Sleep Therapy for You, and I just got a brand new peep tin, so I thought I would unbox it. <laughs> unbox it for you. You're gonna give it to my. Let mommy have it. I thought I would unbox it for you. Maybe <laughs> 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 Zachary wants to help. You wanna help? I've been wearing nasal pillows for years. I'm a respiratory therapist, and I've been doing that for years, over a decade. And I've been wearing a CPAP. I'm on my third machine, so for a long time. And I've worn nasal pillows the whole time. So I was an Advin Swift FX user, and then when ResMed came out with the P10, I switched to that. And I love their stuff. Are you so excited? You want the box? So this is uh, the way the pillows come. It's all in this nice, neat uh, container with the different sizes in here um, and they're color coded like this pink one's the extra small and you can tell that because of the coating. So the small's on it and you just kind of unravel the tube part and that's it. So it's, uh, this is all there is to it. In my opinion it's the tiniest mask on the market. It's got elastic headgear. This is the Swift FX for her, so it's got this purplish color inside, and it means that the headgear is just slightly smaller than the standard size that comes in the other kit. And then um, the nose pieces have left and right nostril marked, so that you know um, which way to face it at you. The other side is completely blank, and then the size is in the center here. One of the things I like about this is um, I noticed that this texture behind the small it's a different feeling so in the dark I can feel for that with my finger and know which way to face it to put it on so yeah let's try it on so when I put this on I put my hand through this back strap like this and I don't even really mess with that top strap it just sits there come here <laughs> sit down with mommy <laughs> so when I want to put it on I put my nose in there and then I bring this around behind my head under my hair like that and I feel like it's real important to lift this out and make sure that it's not pulling on the skin around my eyes so that I don't have lines in the morning and so I'm not adding to my wrinkles so, you put your two in the end like this, and you, uh, if you want to get this in and out, you just bend it like you're breaking a stick, and it'll come right out for you. I use Auto Start on my machine, so I just breathe in, and it comes on for me. I sleep on my side. I use a my pillow. I love my my pillow. So I have my tube going up over my head this way, and all the tubing is between my machine and the headboard here. Of course, I sound funny because the air's on. That's it. Just like that. That's how I sleep with the same off. So you can feel the air coming out here where I'm exhaling. And that's it. I'll sleep all night. And when I get up in the morning, I turn off my... You want to be sure and wash it. Um, you'll take your nose piece off. Just pinch it and pull. You'll see it's got two different tabs here. A smaller one and a bigger one. And you can just pull that and take it off and wash that in the sink with a little soapy water, something antibacterial, um, on a daily basis. And then once a week, of course, you're going to wash the whole thing with soap and water. Every time you wash this headgear um, and get it good and wet and soapy and warm, when it dries, it tightens back up, which is fantastic. So it'll fit nice um, for a really long time and you won't usually have to worry about doing anything to make the straps tighter. It does have um, these little hmm, adapters that come with, I call them bouffant buttons for when ladies have bouffant hair. And they really stretch that strap out around while they're putting it on their head. Um, they wear that strap out really prematurely. And you can send this strap up through these little teeth here and create a loop. So that you can add more tension and take space out right there. And inside these nose pieces, these are double walled nasal pillows. If you look at the medium size, it's easiest to tell 
There's two layers in there. That inner layer is thicker and holds it in your nose, and the outer layer is going to inflate to make a nice, neat seal. So even if your nose and my nose is a different shape, but we're both a medium, it fits us both um, because it'll contour to your nose, which is why I think it's so comfortable. When you're trying to size these and you put it on, what you're looking for is the lip, the overhang here. So when you put that on your nose, you don't want them touching in the center. And you want just the right amount of lip around the edges to keep it from leaking out. And you don't want it going up into your nostril at all. So I can usually wear the extra small or the small. So you can see on the small, there's more lip here, especially on the back side. But then the medium, you can see they're too close together in the center. They're almost touching, and I've got way too much lip out here. And it'll start to buckle, and it'll leak. So I can't wear a medium. So generally, you wear one size all the time, and you change these twice a month for the manufacturer. Um, I find they last longer than that. It's a very great product. And that's pretty much it. So let me know if you have any additional questions about the P10 nasal pillows mask from Resmed. Feel free to like and subscribe below and leave me any questions in the comments. If there's anything else you want me to make a video about, you can put that down there as well. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you.